Hey Brian, it's Jason here at Perkins Motorplex. Just grabbing that quick video of the 18 Ram we spoke about a moment ago. I mean, it's in really good shape. I, I've kind of checked it out myself, but I'll just start its front work away around so you can get a better look. Um, as you can see, headlights, real fog lights, everything's in really great shape. No yellowing, no condensation. Uh, no damage on the front bumper. Uh, as I can see, on the 18 model, you know, maybe a few touch-ups. I don't think there are probably a couple little ones, but I mean, they are minor as they are. Nothing stands out at all. Again, no damage on the grill. Uh, looking at the front of the hood, there's a couple of tiny touch-ups. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Uh, but really minor. I mean, this truck's in really good shape. Really nice and clean. Uh, going down the driver's side, there's a water spot there. The conversation overnight. Pretty good out here right now, by the way. Uh, no curb rash or damage on the front wheel. The tires are really brand new. The shot of the day is nice and cool. No rust, no damage at all. Looks like factory ram running boards. Tinted front windows as well. I don't see any noticeable door dings, dents, or damage scanning down the side of this truck. Uh, bedside, driver side's in really good shape. Again, no dents or damage to point out. Again, no curb rash or damage on that back wheel. Tires are great. Again, the view. Super clean. I mean, no rust. Nice and clean. Uh, no noticeable damage on the tailgate. You know, sometimes you see a little bit up here around the handle. There's maybe a little scuff right there. Make sure what does and doesn't wipe off there for you. A little scuff, but nothing major. No dings or dents. Back bumpers are in pretty good shape. I do see a couple of little dings where the trailer hitch may have been. You know, from a, one little ding right there. Try to get an angle where you can see that. There's a slight little crease right there. A little small ding right there. Uh, I know you want to picture the bed as well. This one's got the nice spray in liner. Uh, no factory hitch, no gooseneck ball cut in this one. Uh, so it hadn't hauled much. Probably just pull behind, if anything. Nice and clean, back sliding glass. And going down that passenger side, again, uh, no major dents or damage. Honestly, I don't even see any small door dings. Like, again, a really clean truck. Uh, back tires, again, passenger side, really clean. No curb rash or damage. Oh, well, I think that back. Little gouge on that plastic cover in the middle there. A couple little nicks on that back. That's the back passenger side wheel. Just a couple little scuffs there on that silver wheel. That's the plastic itself. It's got a little nick in it. Uh, you just notice we have a little cap missing on that running board. Looks like something some got the cap here. Uh, we can replace that if they haven't already got that order. They may already have that coming. Let's point that out that I just saw it. That plastic. Back to classic cap. So we'll get that replaced if they don't already have an order. And tinted windows. You hear it? I have it running now. Uh, it appears to be completely stopped. I didn't see anything under the hood that led me to believe it's been deleted. Uh, everything looks stopped. The interior is exceptional. Uh, power seats, memory seats. It did not arrive with floor mats. I wanted to point that out. I assume somebody probably has some all weather mats. Probably pulled that out for their next vehicle. Uh, no weird smells or odors in here. Uh, no smoke smell. 48,218 miles is it sitting here running now. Again, death gauge is certainly working. Uh, again, I believe it's the truck completely stopped. Interior is really clean, really nice. No noticeable damage at all. I will point out as well, it arrived with one key. The story of our lives around here, it seems like. Uh, does have remote start. It's the one key fob of this one. I will try to point that out as I want someone to do for me as well. In the back here, they left the factory stuff in here. I'm not sure why that is or what's sitting back here. I'm not even sure if that goes to this truck. But it must have come in with it. You know what that is or not? I sure don't. 
we're going to leave that in there since it came with the truck and I think that's just the factory wiring harness upfitter for the uh, towing package if you want to add that to it as well for the bed I assume. Heated seats in the back, again no factory floor mats, seats look brand new back here. See the dust there on the carpet, making sure there wasn't anything there. Again, a really nice, really clean truck. Uh, it's been inspected and serviced, so it comes with our 30 day warranty uh, on an 18 model. Yes, this one may be out of the factory powertrain coverage as well. I'd have to look at that Carfax and reference the uh, initial sell date to see. Of course, it came with a five year 100 on powertrain, I believe this year model diesel truck did, uh, but you may be up by term will have the availability of up to, we can do up to a six year, 120,000 mile factory coverage on this truck as well. Uh, we have that option for you. Uh, that would not only pick up engine, transmission, four wheel drive, turbo, diesel, uh, those options, but it would also pick up the majority of the original three year comprehensive coverage. You know, the, you were in the car business, so the touch screens, backup cameras, computers, body control modules, power windows, power door locks, all that tech package coverage is picked up in that as well. Air conditioning, of course, power seats. So a ton of coverage there if you want to look at that as well. Uh, we'll go over that option when we get to that point. But again, just want to give you a good look at the truck. Very clean, very nice truck. You're going to love it.